It's the dawning of a new era in motorsports. A challenge that pushes five-ton trucks to wheel stands off the starting line and sends them skyward as they lunge for victory. It's the Penda Point Series, a season-long test of survival taking place on a path to destruction where one must conquer the terrain and hopefully not end up looking like it. The Penda Point Series, a gauntlet to determine which 10-foot monster truck stands the tallest. This is Trucks and Tractor Power, featuring the best in MTRA Monster Truck Racing. Today, from the Allen County Fairgrounds in Lima, Ohio, it's the Monster Truck Thunder Drag. Hi, everybody. I'm Gary Lee, and welcome to Trucks and Tractor Power on the National Network. You know, for the first time ever on this show, we will follow a points championship. It's the Penda Point Series. In fact, a 13-race schedule starting today here in Lima and ending later this year in Indianapolis. The Penda Point Series awards points for excellence and consistency. A driver receives points as he advances round by round, bonus points for the fastest qualifier, and the fastest overall run of the racing event. And, of course, this is the start of a brand-new season. And with each new season, we have new trucks being debuted and driver changes. And here with more on that is my colleague, Army Armstrong. That's right, Gary. NASCAR is not the only major sport that has silly season. Check this out. You might need a pencil and paper to follow me. Kirk Dabney used to run GMC. He's teamed up with Marty Garza in a Ford operation. Had quick qualifying time today. Looked good through the first round. Donnie Van Loo, he got out of the driver's seat. Gene Patterson, who used to be with Ford, came over to work for Van Loo. Their combination, Chrysler-powered Chevrolet truck by an old Ford driver. You figure that one out. Dan Runney, new kid on the block of Bob and Marilyn Chandler's operation. He'll be driving the Bigfoot Power Wheels vehicle. That's the new Bigfoot black truck with flames. He is going to be a player today. Keep an eye on this kid. He's a new kid on the block in the stables. Meanwhile, the old pro in that stables, Andy Brass, he sat in pat. He's staying with the same combination he had last year. Remember the name Ray Prokowski, the new kid on the block for the Dodge team. He's gone over to Fred Schaefer's operation to be the new driver in the place of Ken Deppie. Where's Ken Deppie? Rumor has it he's walking around the Bigfoot operation. That's the Dodge and Ford side of it. Now, Paul Schaefer will be representing the Chevrolet camp along with the new guy on the block for us, Dan Patrick. Patrick's been in this sport for years, but this is the first time he's actually come out to run head-to-head. -head. He'll be running head-to-head -head representing Chevrolet with Schaefer and guys like Gary Porter and the Carolina Crusher. I hope you follow that because I don't want to have to go through it again, but basically what it washes out to, this is going to be a good year to watch the monster trucks on TNN. Army, I didn't have my pen and my program. Could you repeat that again for me? Well, Army, you mentioned the fast qualifying run turned in by Kirk Daphne. Here is this on video replay. There is overkill, and that is the quick qualifying run at 5.47 for Kirk Daphne. Now we're going to take you back and show some highlights from round one competition. Pam Botters in the boogie van in the near lane against your fast qualifier, Kirk Daphne, in the far lane. And Kirk Daphne would take that victory at 5.90. Also in round one, Dan Patrick took on Colt Cobra. Dan Patrick, the American Gladiator, in the near lane. There is the snake bite truck in the far lane. And this victory in round one would go to Colt Cobra with a clocking of 5.56. But look at that nose stand on the landing. And there's the time for Colt Cobra as he advances. Also from round one, for Kowski, we talked about Ray earlier, and Paul Schaefer. Now, Paul Schaefer comes over representing the Chevrolet camp, and these guys have literally put war paint on as Dodge and Ford have dominated this sport the last two years, and Chevrolet has loaded both barrels and coming after them. Point in hand, Gary. Out of North Carolina, Waynesville, North Carolina, Gary Porter comes back on the circuit again. When the points went up by Penda, all the Chevrolet boys said, let's go get them. This is going to make for an interesting year. However, Andy Brass and Bigfoot doing what he does well was a 523. He'll be a player. Another Chevrolet, the Hall brothers, team up against one of the strongest Dodges in the country. So, like I say, we've got good representation this year by all the manufacturers. Well, Fred Schaefer took that one, and his time was 5.55. Now, an interesting matchup between Gene Patterson, who moved from the Bigfoot operation over to Don Van Loo's team to run against the guy who replaced him driving for Bob Chandler, Dan Runte. And it is... Runte drills him with a 5-5 shot. Now notice the new colors on the Bigfoot truck they call Bigfoot Power Wheel, Gary. Round two is coming up. <clears throat> Who'd like more cheese on their pizza? Okay. Who'd like more toppings on their pizza? Okay. More cheese. Okay. Toppings. More. More. 
That's every man, woman, and child. It's the new Little Caesars Pleasers menu. More meat, more cheese, more pepperoni, more toppings. Any two for $9.98, product guaranteed. Pizza, pizza. Or get one pizza for $5.99. Pizza. Gasoline's top performance, but no gasoline delivers it to more drivers than Shell. Shell, the world's best-selling gasoline. You know, a lot of people who work on their cars will only shop at AutoZone. They depend on us for the best quality parts and low prices every day. They come in, get what they need, and then get back to work. Because you see, they believe if you want the job done right, you do it yourself. Well, at AutoZone, we couldn't agree more. Because when you take the time and the effort to work on your car yourself, you ought to be choosy about where you shop. We just thank you for choosing AutoZone. Okay, I've changed my game. The ball, the team, I like change. Change my underwear. Change briefs, change boxes, change flannel, stripes. Change cool comfort. Change is good if it's always hands. Just wait till we get our things on you. Hey, Tightline, what are you doing? I was just about finished tying this fly. Hey, hey, listen. I just heard the fish are really biting night crawlers. TNN Outdoors. Watch it and you're hooked. He's really starting to bug me. We're in Lima, Ohio, where Ford Trucks present the four-wheel jamboree Spring Nationals, part of the special events performance series featuring the monster truck Thunder Drags, ready now for round two action. Here are the matchups. Overkill against Snakebite, Monster Patrol, and Bigfoot Cruiser, and Barefoot, and the Power Wheels Bigfoot. So Army, an excellent day for competition here in uh, northern Ohio as we are ready for round two. Well, Amy Brass is going to come out. He's your defending world champion, kind of like an old pair of loafers. He's driving the same truck he's in last year. Paul Schaefer in the other lane out of Portage, Indiana, be representing the Chevrolet camp. We're glad to have this guy on the tour. And like I said earlier, the Chevrolet guys kind of got behind the barn gave themselves a pep talk and they want to bump these Fords and Dodge out of this Ford's lead seat. But in order to do it, you got to get past this guy and that's one tough little job. Yeah, it's not only Ford, it's the Bob Chandler juggernaut. Yeah, he, Chandler is to this sport what Penske or Junior Johnson or somebody is to NASCAR and Indy Series. I mean, somebody seems to be on top and seems to be Chandler. Look at this. We got a race. And it is. Oh, look at that. Call that a mild upset. Boy, everybody in the grandstand has got a Chevrolet shirt on. He's grinning ear to ear. A 5.30 for Schaefer. Boy, this is Schaefer's comeback tour. Andy Brass at 5.32. Ever so close, but Paul Schaefer takes the victory. Let's take a look again. Really, Schaefer pulled him on the other end. I think at half track, Brass actually had him. But Schaefer starts motoring that big Chevrolet engine. Yeah, right there and flies past him. Very uncharacteristic that Andy would be taken mid-track, but that's exactly what happened. Let's go down trackside and talk to Paul Schaefer. Boy, you had to drive it from half track on. You were pulling him with a lot of horsepower. Well, this year, Vanson has built me a brand new motor, and it's making a whole lot of horsepower, and we got Spitfire plugs in it, and it's just running good. You know, a lot of guys said the Chevrolets couldn't step up and run with these guys. Didn't see a lot of you last year. Now you guys are coming back right out of the box. Could this be the year for Chevrolet? Well, I think the Chevrolet is going to run real good this year, and I got a little more experience this year, and I learned a whole lot over the summer, and, and I'm ready. And as the competition gets ready to continue, there is a look at Andy Brass's teammate, Dan Runte, in the Bigfoot Power Wheels. Actually, this is Bigfoot 14. And earlier, Army asked Dan what it's like to step into those big shoes. It's a beautiful truck to drive. The four-link we've changed, the back suspension, we no longer run a cantilever. We, we run a 28-inch shock, which is straight up and down. It makes the ride a little different. It's a good driving truck, and it's a real privilege to be out here running this with all these other guys. Well, he goes against a heavyweight in Fred Schaefer. Notice the new paint job now on the dodge. There's a look at Fred out of Pontoon Beach, Illinois, and he is always a factor. This is going to be an old-time slapping contest because you got bragging rights on the line. Number one dodge in the far lane. New kid in the fourth near lane. New sponsor. Everybody's trying to impress everybody. You call it, Gary. It's all dodge. 
Ball dodges. Fred Schaefer has some trouble in the landing. There's a 516 for Schaefer. Not a very good day for the Ford Camp and Bob Chandler. Well, I was going to say, in the last two races, Chandler's put two of his big guns back in the trailer. Look again. It looks like the whole shot for Schaefer. Bit of a wheelie right there, and it's all Fred Schaefer. Barefoot, the Dodge takes the victory. Here's Fred. Boy, you talk about action. Here he comes. Tell you what, Fred, the guys back in Detroit, Michigan, are going to love that. They got something to brag about now. Yeah, Army, thanks. Uh, this is a new Dodge Ram, and uh, it's working real well for me. Where did you get him? Where did you know you had him? Uh, I honestly didn't look over there until I was in the air because I was real busy in that cab, Army, but I looked over there, and I seen I had him pretty good. Well, keep in mind with this 12-truck format, the fast loser from this round will come back. So at least one driver will have one more shot at it by virtue of being the fast loser. And there is a look at your fastest qualifier. That is Overkill and Kirk Dabney. Dabney's been around the sport for quite a while, driven as a privateer, driven some other vehicles. He had a, he's out of Columbia City, Indiana. However, now he's teamed up with Marty Garza, one of the unsung heroes in the sport, and they are going to be going against Colt Cobra out of Cobra Creek, Colorado. Now, earlier in qualifying, Cobra showed us that he is literally going to have this thing on kill today. He wants to win the Penda Point Series. He said, I'll do anything it takes to win this thing. That was just a qualifying shot. Is that what you call full boogaloo? Double throwdown, full <laughs> boogaloo. Thank you. All right, now back to action. In this round, Dabney, the near lane, Colt Cobra, who is back in the cockpit of Snakebite. He did some R&D uh, work last season. Now he's back in the cockpit, and it is. Yeah, Colt Cobra. He pulls the trigger. Almost yeah. rolls it over. He's trying to shut it down, Gary, on the big end. Oh. oh. There was a case where he got up on two wheels. He kept his foot in it, though, and pulled it back out. He used every bit of runoff area. That was, I'll tell you what, that was great driving, but also these trucks have a kill switch. I want you to realize that whoever was operating that kill switch did the right thing. If they would have turned his power off right now, he would have gone on over it. They let him drive the truck out before they hit the kill switch. Man, that was close, Gary Lee. Look at how close it gets to that water tanker down there. And right behind the water tanker was our camera position. As we'll have a chance to take one more look at this uh, wild stirring ride by Colt Cobra in Snake My Question is, was any damage done to the truck? They're coming right at you. And watch this landing on the right hand lane. Well, he takes a bounce. Now, right now, he's on the throttle and kicks sideways on him. But watch it starts to roll over. Now, you have to have horsepower to plant it back on the ground. See, he hits the throttle and it pulls it down. Now, we got another problem. It's called Big Water Truck. He's on the binders now over what appears to be a log down there or a telephone pole. Gets it stopped, however. He is okay. He's had a chance to make his way back to the pit area, and he's with Army Armstrong. Okay, what we're looking at right now on the top end of the track, the driver's out of the truck. He's okay. Jim Kramer's checking the rear suspension of the truck. But we're going to take you around it to show you what's unique down here. At the very end of the track, they had a bunch of poles. Well, the driver, trying to get the truck shut out, actually got into the poles. You know, it's a lot of axles. First of all, you okay, Cole? A well, ride, heck of a ride. Yeah, it was a heck of a ride. Uh, we've been having uh, some suspension not problems, but uh, we've been working on them. We knew we had to right race. We had to come out. We had to give it everything we had. And uh, going against somebody like Overkill, you saw the passes he put down earlier today. We knew we couldn't back out of it. Uh, I'm fine. All the safety equipment worked flawlessly. As far as we can tell, the truck's not hurt. We're going to be back next round. Let me ask you a question. We've been watching you on the top end of the truck. You are getting your neck wrung every time this truck lands. I mean, your head is really ripping around in there. Does that bother your neck at all? Snakes don't have necks. <laughs> Got you, Army. We'll come back with the semifinal action from Lima, Ohio. Stay with us. Brought to you by Pep Boys. For quality parts, accessories, and service, come to Pep Boys, America's automotive super center. Just look at the selection of car care products at Pep Boys. Now look at other places. Once more. Wow. Ooh. Oh, when you look, look for every one of these at just 99 cents. At Pep Boys, if we don't have it, you don't want it. At Pep Boys, this starter comes with our lifetime warranty. At other places, you may only get 90 days. Let's see, a lifetime or 90 days? Get a lifetime from just $29.99. At Pet Boys, if we don't have it, you don't want it. 5G's hurts. When the car fires up, it's power. It's talking to me. All I hear is music. 
when you hit the throttle, it pulls your head back and it wants to rip it off. It's you and the competition, and everything has to be just right. Pure oil now. Man, from that time on, all you can think about is winning. Pure oil later. Man, that's a ride. Legend live. Uh, 21 piece lucky bucket. Oh, Even the best gasolines leave deposits in your fuel system, causing all kinds of problems. Lucky chicken. The lucky bucket 21 piece. Oh, but now there's new Slick 50 fuel system formula. Ten times more powerful than the leading gas treatment, it cleans your entire fuel system, restoring power and performance. Get new Slick 50 fuel system formula. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Most trackers can follow the trail only as long as the weather holds up. Unless it's a tracker spurred on with genuine AC spark plugs. AC plugs fire faster than lightning for performance so smooth, even the thunder claps. And that'll keep your engine on the trail to a longer life. Call 1-800-AC-DELCO. It's like buying time. So better track down some AC spark plugs. Today on TNN Outdoors. At noon Eastern, Al Linder kicks things off with In Fisherman Television, followed by Every Fish's Nightmare, Bill Vance. Then at 1, Ray Scott's got Mega Bass and Mega Bucks. At 1.30, stock with the big boys on Buckmasters. And at 2, come along for Big Fun and Big Fish on Hank Parker's Outdoor Magazine. Catch it all today on TNN Outdoors. along with a very enthusiastic crowd here at the Allen County Fairgrounds in Lima, Ohio. We are ready for semifinal action. It will be Snakebite against the Bigfoot Cruiser. Andy Brass, the fast loser from the last round. Monster Patrol against Barefoot. Four trucks remain, and we are ready now for side-by-side -side monster truck action. We talked at the beginning about the parity in the uh, manufacturers. Well, we got two Fords, one Chevy, and one Dodge at this point in the competition. You know, the Bigfoot Cruiser, that's kind of an interesting phenomenon because that truck is under the sponsorship of Ford, who has a new vehicle that you can buy off the showroom floor called the Bigfoot Cruiser. After that wild ride the last round, you can see that Snakebite is back together. No damage to that truck. And there's a look from inside the cockpit at Andy Brass. You know, in the interview, Snakebite said snakes don't have necks or anything. Well, I'll go along with that. On the other side of the slate is a guy that's got a good head on top of his necks, Andy Brass. Now, he went out in the previous round, but he comes back to the quick side of the bracket. And I guarantee you, he's like an old-time gunfighter. Andy Brass still thinks he can win this thing. Andy Brass is going to win it big time. Now, there may have been some damage, however. That run turned in by Snakebite may not be indicative of the kind of run that he normally could do. Yeah, it could be a result of that last run. He nets a 6'11", qualified in a 5, Brass a 5'16". So you're talking some time difference here, but the story here is Andy Brass is back into this thing through the loser bracket and kid with no neck he still got it on kill in the far lane but 516 is faster than brass qualified and he really picked up the wheels had a rough landing there he is standing by now with army armstrong tell me about that last race well the last one was you know we just come into the run there we knew we was gonna have to run hard you know we was trying to figure out who was gonna be in the finals we was looking at the times the times have real been good on the other guys so we knew we was gonna have to push it hard and that's what we did you know we run down there the lane's getting a little loose on us, but we think the Firestones are doing us a good job, so we're just horse firing her on down through there. Now it's the battle of the Schaefer boys. No relation, Ball Schaefer there in the Monster Patrol. He will pull alongside the Dodge of Fred Schaefer and Barefoot. Barefoot Dodge, far side. Motor located to the rear and down from the Linko transmission. Chevrolet Nearest, the patrol Chevrolet. New kid on the block, wants to make a name for himself. Already starting to impress a lot of people. Hey, is that the same Schaefer on the Letterman show? No, no, that, that, that Paul Schaefer has no hair. This, this Paul has a good head of hair. So once again, Chevrolet against Dodge for the right to meet a Ford in the finals. But I tell you what, you talk about Paul Schaefer. Both guys will rock and roll you big time if you let them do it. Watch this. Well, Ford. they're going to have to rock and roll to make it to the finals. Ford's in the final. Is this Dodge or this Chevrolet going to be going against the Ford? Boy, the drama's up. Goes green, dodging the far lane, Gary, looks like to me. Fred Schaefer got the whole shot. 
and he rides that whole shot to victory. So it's going to be Dodge and Ford in the final here in Lima, Ohio. Fred Schaefer in barefoot guns down Paul Schaefer in Monster Patrol. There's the time of 5.66 for Paul Schaefer. Let's take a look again. It was the whole shot that was the margin of victory. Amazing. The Dodge, see, it settles down real quick. The Chevrolet bounced a little bit. When it gets to the last jump, old Freddie pulled the trigger and went flying. And look how high they were off the ground just, just before they got to the finish line. So Fred Schaefer takes the victory, and he's down in the pit area with Army Armstrong. Just like drag racing, you really got to stay on the light. Yeah, you do, Army. It's real bright out here in that light. You got to look at it real close. It's hard to see today. Let me ask you a question. How important is the starting end of this sport? You guys seem to make horsepower on the other end, but you got to start on this end, too. Boy, you know, as fast these trucks are running, you don't want to give anybody an advantage. You need to be on that light. That is the race right there in that hole a lot of times in the gate. Well, as we get set for the finals, they're going to run some tough truck action. When we come back, we'll find out who is the toughest of them all. crew spends hundreds of hours building those 5,000 horsepower motors, I can explode one in five seconds. And when that happens, nobody eats. That's why my guys won't run anything but Fram fillers. You know, Fram gets the nasty stuff out of the oil, so I can go to the other end with my candles lit. And you know, that's in about five seconds, nearly 300 miles an hour. You can look at these guys and see they eat pretty near every day. When you're looking for a truck, you have to make a decision. Should you go for rugged performance or civilized comfort? Well, when you get a 94 Nissan truck with a value truck package, including air conditioning, AM, FM, cassette, stereo, chrome package, and an available V6 for about $2,300 less than a comparably equipped Toyota, maybe you don't have to make a decision after all. For a limited time, get 2.9% financing on any new Nissan truck. Alternative math. What do one crust sandwich, one order of hash browns, and one hot coffee add up to? $1.99. At Burger King, just $1.99 every day. We may not be the world's number one fast food place. It just tastes that way. Okay, I've changed my game. The ball, the team, I like change. Change my underwear. Change breeze. Change boxes. Change flannel. Strike. Change cool comfort. Change is good if it's always hands. Just wait till we get our hands on you. Get enough. Get enough. If raw power drives your soul, if 300 mile per hour is just too much, there's only one answer, NHRA Championship Drag Racing. And there's only one place to get it live. From Denver, Colorado, NHRA Today, followed by final round eliminations of the Mopar Park Mile High National. Today, live on TNN Motorsports. One of the fastest growing groups of people with AIDS are in their 20s. AIDS can have an incubation period of up to 11 years. That means that many people with AIDS were infected as teenagers. If you're a teenager, please get the facts. Break the silence. 1-800-342-AIDS. This four-wheel jamboree is part of the special events performance series, which features a host of activities for the entire family. Pick up the latest in aftermarket parts and accessories with a visit to the manufacturer's Midway. There's also a show and shine competition with prizes in more than 28 categories, plus games for the kids. To find out more about the special events performance series, call or write the special events promotion company. Well, you know, Gary, you don't have to have the chrome and candy apple to have fun at one of these events. You can go back, get the old beater out of the garage, and come out and race against the clock and the man-made obstacle to find out who exactly does have the toughest truck. Yeah, this is uh, Stephen Bishop in his 79 Ford. I tell you, that thing's been uh, put through the ringer a couple of times. I like this guy. He's got the MIA POW <laughs> decal on the back. It goes by the name of the Hippie. Uh, the fans love the tough truck competition. This hey, is a man-made obstacle course, and these guys really put these beaters through their paces. This is not a beater. This Look at is a high-tech piece of it's equipment. It's been beat up. Well, maybe, but he's having fun. Listen to the crowd. They love this. Speaking of loving, it's time for the finals, and it's got a Dodge and a Ford. you got to love this, Gary Lee. Yeah, back to the starting line. Today's toughest monster trucks prepare to do battle in the finals here in Lima, Ohio. It's Andy Brass. There he is, the Bigfoot Cruiser. And remember, he came from the loser's bracket. Gary, Andy Brass is working his way back to the finals on this thing, but he said earlier he had made some changes in order to get back to the finals. 
Can you tell me what the changes were? Because they seem to really work. Well, a lot of changes just in the gear. You know, we tried some, I tried something new on my shifting habit on down the track, and it seemed to lose a little bit. You know, we got the new John Cosby Hemi in the truck, so now I'm just trying to shift early, let the motor lug on down through there. It's built on building us some good horsepower, and as long as we can keep these Firestones connecting to the track, I think we're going to do a pretty good job today. Well, there's a look at Barefoot and Fred Schaefer. Remember that great hole shot he had in the semifinal round? Well, Schaefer runs a Linko transmission in the red truck, the Dodge in the far lane, and it's kind of like winding up a rubber band on a little airplane. The harder you go, the harder it'll hold, so he is ready to go. Now, the Kazi horsepower that Brass was talking about is in the engine compartment, so both drivers seem to have an edge. Fred with the transmission, the Bigfoot truck and Andy Brass with horsepower, but the bottom hole line shot, is the hole shot, hole shot, Andy Brass. Oh, Andy hangs on for the victory. Yes, he does at 513. It looked like he got the hole shot, but then right there, there was Fred Schaefer. Uh, Schaefer stayed on him like a bird dog, but Brass making the horsepower mile an hour on the other end and comes back to the loser side of this bracket. Look at the start. A good start by both guys. Watch them settle down in no man's land. You notice the wheels up on the Ford. Now the Dodge makes horsepower and powers the wheels up. They pull the trigger on the last jump. Oh, by less than a fender, it's Andy Brass. Brass takes the victory here in Lyme, Ohio. There's a shot inside the cockpit as we ride with him again. The track may be straight, but look at him work on that steering wheel. Andy Brass, a real workout in the Bigfoot Cruiser. He takes the victory. He's with Army. Andy Brass proving he's a champion in the fact you just don't give up. You got back into this thing to the loser bracket. Now you're the national points leader. Yeah, you know, the Ford uh, Bigfoot here has been running well for us today. It just like I say, we slacked off a little bit the one round, and it's something we proved that you can't do out here in the race series now because everybody's so competitive. So we just stepped back in it. We knew what we had to do, and we were going to have to push it hard. We knew Fred was going to run hard. So like I said, that's all we could do. The John Cosby Hemi did us a good job. Like I say, Firestone hooked up for us, and I think we did it real well today. Well, our congratulations to Andy Brass. We'll have a chance to take a look now at the pen to point standings after one of 13 events. There's Andy Brass leading Fred Schaefer. Then it's Paul Schaefer, Colt Cobra, and Kurt Dabney. Once again, the first of 13 events. Victory Lane is a joyous place for Andy Brass, the Bigfoot crew. There's Donna Purcell in the background. To the left is Bob Chandler. For Army Armstrong, I'm Gary Lee. We'll see you next week on Trucks and Tractor Power. Now here's news and exciting video release from Diamond P Sports. Bring the excitement of mud monster truck racing into your living room with Diamond P's newest horsepower hit. Trust me, you're in there with this third strike. Shake, battle, and roll three. It's all new and all you come to expect, from the outrageous mishaps of the monster truck racing to the raucous rampage to the mud bog. Shake, battle, and roll three is a must for any and every monster truck fan in the house. Over 60 minutes of jarring and pounding mud and mayhem and accelerated aerobatics you don't want to miss. To get your copy of Shake, Battle, and Roll 3, call 1-800-438-8585 or send 1995 check or money order plus $4 shipping and handling to the address shown on your screen or charge it on your MasterCard, Visa, or Discovery card. Call 1-800-438-8585 for Shake, Battle, and Roll 3.